Hey everyone, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2019-2020 Award Ceremony. It is our pleasure to take this moment to recognize you and celebrate you for all your accomplishments during your high school career. You guys have worked so hard through this very difficult time. So let's sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy celebrating you and your classmates in their success. Hi, my name is Karen Ball, and I am currently the Interact Advisor and a member of the Chief Rotary Club. And I am here today to present the Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Ryla is a five-day leadership training camp. Through this experience, participants have the unique opportunity to be exposed to many facets of leadership. Although Ryla will not take place this year, we wanted to recognize the students who would have earned this opportunity. So congratulations to Elena Metzler, Mia Gribbins, Kaylee Caswell, Skyra Brown, and Allison Frank. Thank you for your participation in the Interact Club, all of your hard work in school, and your service to your community. Congratulations on earning the Rotary Youth Leadership Award. Thank you. Due to the pandemic and the guidelines set by Governor DeWine, the Buckeye Boys State Program scheduled for June 14th through June 21st at Miami University has been canceled. George Call Post 124 of the American Legion Geneva would like to recognize the candidates who were chosen to attend. First candidate, Alex Craig. Second candidate, Briar Streets. Third alternate, Justin Hanna. Hobie's flagship program, the State Leadership Seminar, is designed to help high school sophomores to recognize their leadership talents and apply them to become effective, ethical leaders in their home, school, workplace, and community. The seminar curriculum is based on the social change model of leadership and develops leaderships from three perspectives, personal leadership, group leadership, and leadership for society. Selected students attend our three or four day seminars and participate in hands-on leadership activities, meet leaders in their state and explore their own personal leadership skills while learning how to lead others and make a positive impact in their community. This year, the students will be participating in a one day virtual seminar. Congratulations, sophomores, Marissa Serafine and Cassie Emmett. Hi, I'm Kelly Jones, incoming executive director for Leadership Ashtabula County, and I've had the pleasure of running the youth leadership program now for the past few years. This past year, over 60 students from eight Ashtabula County high schools came together to learn more about leadership themselves and the amazing people and resources that make Ashtabula great. We're excited to honor our students who have taken skills learned and connections made to improve themselves, their schools, and their communities during this time. We are so proud of our youth leadership, Ashtabula County Class of 2020, and we're looking forward to see the wonderful things that you will continue doing to not just help improve yourselves, but to your families, your schools, your communities, and beyond. Thank you and congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Bobby McCoy, and I'm here today to recognize the participants in the mentorship program. Growth Partnership and the Ashtabula County Educational Service Center co-sponsor the Ashtabula County Schools Mentorship Program. This is an opportunity which allows juniors and seniors the ability to try on a career they believe they may want to pursue after high school. We would like to recognize the following students for completing the mentorship program and doing a fantastic job. They will each receive a certificate of completion and are still in the running for the scholarships. This year's participants were Kaylee Caswell, Allison Frank, Elena Metzler, Brooke Motley, McKenna Proy, and Kyle Smothers. Congratulations to all of you. 
and great job. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stashron Bramer, the Marine Corps recruiter for Geneva High School. It is a great honor and pleasure to be here with you this evening. I'd like to take a moment and thank the faculty, the parents, and the students of Class 2020 for allowing me to support and work with you throughout the year. I am looking forward to continuing to build this relationship in the community in the upcoming school year. The Marine Corps would like to take a moment and recognize a few students who have excelled in certain areas. The United States Marine Corps takes pleasure in presenting the Scholastic Excellence Award to Sydney Snyder for her academic achievement and leadership as a high school student scholar. Sydney Snyder maintained a 4.0 GPA, was National Honor Society, and plans to attend OSU in the fall. Marine Corps rec uh, wishes her the best of luck at OSU and her future endeavors. Next, we'd like to recognize a young lady who spread cheer and inspiration through her talents. The Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is presented to Myla Rhodes by the United States Marines Youth Foundation Incorporated and the Marine Corps League in recognition of diligence, dedication, and musical excellence as a performing high school bandsman and uh, solace. Myla is a first chair who plays the French horn and the brass instruments. We are looking forward for her to continue her career in music and hopefully we hear something by her in the near future. Next, the United States Marine Corps would like to present the Distinguished Athlete Award to two amazing soccer players who are the team captains and also were the goalies for their teams, Joseph Carley and Elisa Hanna. They both displayed courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership as a high school athlete. They were inspirational to the rest of their team and led them through good times and through challenging times. And we wish them the best of luck in their future and playing soccer. I would also like to take a moment and recognize a young man who stepped out, wanted to stand out and actually raise his hand to join the United States Marine Corps. This is to certify that Colin G. Hagerman has successfully passed the required mental, moral, and physical examinations and has been accepted for enlistment in the delayed entry program of the United States Marine Corps. The defense of our country and our freedoms is the duty and privilege of every citizen. The Marine Corps has a proud tradition of outstanding service to our country in war and peace. Volunteer membership in this elite military organization is a clear demonstration of American qualities of patriotism and loyalty. So I'd like to ask everybody to please thank Colin Hagerman for his decision to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Once again, thank you all. Congratulations to the class of 2020. And can't wait to see you guys next school year for the class of 2021. God bless America. A makeup artist is just that, an artist. She creates art on the canvases of faces. She gives an illusion that a youthful person is old a healthy person is sick, or a person is an animal or a piece of furniture. For four years, this individual has worked on the makeup and hair crew for 10 productions, six of them as coordinator. She has tackled the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, becoming an expert in time-appropriate hairstyles and makeup. She has created a stage full of zombies and a castle full of enchanted objects. She's extraordinarily talented and extremely patient, training others in the skill of makeup. I am happy to present a Technical Achievement Award in Makeup to Jenna Ross. 
Theater is never about the final product, but always about the process. I have watched one young woman grow dramatically over the past four years. She was awkward and self-conscious and struggled each show to learn the leadership skills necessary for backstage. Again and again, she found her way into my office as we discussed what worked and didn't work in her role as crew foreman. She never gave up, but constantly worked harder, worked stronger, and found her voice as a leader. With eight shows under her belt and running in set crew, four as crew foreman, I am probably more proud of this senior than any other because she persevered no matter how hard I pushed her. She was determined to learn and be the best that she could be. This is why the Technical Achievement Award in Running and Set Crew goes to Mila Pack. One of the most difficult and demanding roles in theater is stage management. These student leaders, defenders of the stage, must know all the workings of each show, sometimes even all the lines. Four years ago, a very quiet freshman came to the theater interested in stage managing. Since she said not one word during her tour of the theater, we were dubious about whether stage management was a good fit for her. Now, after watching her serve as assistant stage manager for 10 productions, we have no doubts at all. This dedicated and determined young woman has solved a multitude of problems, guided cast members on and off stage, fed them lines when they faltered, calmed them down when they swayed, and always upheld the professionalism of the GHS theater program. I am proud to present a Technical Achievement Award in Stage Management to Miranda Barnum. The recipient of this year's High Point Award has appeared on stage and off in a total of 10 main stage productions. She began her GHS theater journey working in box office, then acted in several productions, including The Sound of Music, 13 Ways to Screw Up Your College Interview, Rebel Without a Cause, Bye Bye Birdie, The Susification of Romeo and Juliet, Our Town, The Addams Family, Selfie, Arsenic and Old Lace, and lastly, Beauty and the Beast. Somewhere in the midst of all this acting, this young woman found time to be publicity coordinator and thespian clerk. Her love of theater has grown quite a bit since that very first day in Introduction to Drama when she said she did not want to be in theater. And now she has spent more hours here than any other senior. I am proud to present this year's High Point Award to Jessica Salufo. Each year, the GHS Theater Program awards the Outstanding Thespian Award. We have many dedicated seniors who go above and beyond the call of duty, but as a director, I want to recognize an amazing actress who has brought to life any role I give her. She is often the first to memorize her lines, the first to delve into her character, and the first to astound me with her stage presence. She first took the stage as the Grand Duchess Olga Katrina, complete with Russian accent, and you can't take it with you. And it only took two stage managers to keep her calm backstage. From that moment on, she auditioned for nearly every show and performed in 10 different productions. Her outstanding characters have included Officer O'Hara in Arsenic and Old Lace with a self-taught Brooklyn accent, Mae Peterson in Bye Bye Birdie, Mrs. Gibbs in Our Town, and most recently, the lovable Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast, where she wowed us all with her lovely voice. Her consistency, creativity, and ability to literally jump on stage at a moment's notice and assume any persona desired is marvelous. I truly love watching this young woman's performances for she is an incredible actress and it has been an honor to be her director. The Outstanding Thespian Award goes to Katriana Stagg. The Choral Director's Award is presented to one singer who represents the type of spirit, energy and positive attitude necessary for the success of the choir. The Director's Award for Chorus recognizes the talent and enthusiasm of outstanding choral members. This person is a good leader, knowledgeable about music, displays unselfishness, and is a loyal member of the program. This is the third year that Geneva High School students are eligible for this prestigious award. It is my pleasure 
to present the 2019-2020 Choral Director's Award of Excellence to Joseph Carley. The National School Choral Award is given to the choir member who has contributed an invaluable amount of time, energy, and talent to the program during their four years of choir. This award is a recognition of a student who has truly dedicated themselves to experiencing as much choral music and as many choirs as they had the opportunity to try. The student is also in multiple choirs in one school, one who exhibits outstanding musicianship and ability and is highly dedicated to the choral programs here at Geneva High School. This honoree exhibits leadership and contributes to any and all choral events while continuing to have strong academic achievements. It is my pleasure to present the 2019-2020 National School Choral Award to Ms. Stephanie Ranallo. Hi everybody, I'm John Barbo from the Geneva High School Science Department. Each year, the science teachers nominate several juniors for the Bausch & Lomb Outstanding Science Student uh, presented by the University of Rochester. While all of these students demonstrate a genuine scientific curiosity, a love for learning, and a desire to follow a career in the field of science, we have to choose just one to receive the award. This year, on behalf of the Geneva High School Science Department, we are pleased to present Ms. Elena Metzler with the Bausch & Lomb Outstanding Science Student Award. Congratulations, Elena, we're all very proud of you. Every year, the Science Department strives to inspire our students to want to think outside of the box and continue to explore topics of their own interests. It is my honor to recognize this year's participants in the 2020 High School Science Fair, which included 53 participants and 11 projects that qualified for the district competition. Bella Cordova, Tessa Jones, Eddie Goff, Grace Moon, Mac Pletcha, Ali Baca, Kaylee Caswell, John Amato, Elena Metzler, Allison Aparicio, Savannah Surgeon, Chrissy Oros, AJ Bowser, Rachel Raymond, Jacob Maribel, Renee Tetlow, Justin Hanna, Sam Baker, Blake Pete, Cole Smith, Corinne Dushney, Shane Briotti, Gabriella DeLuca, Paige Anderson, Cariana Downey, Isabella Aparicio, Samantha Aparicio, Katie Maribel, Gavin Houdinas, Marissa Serafine, Ethan Yost, Aiden Richmond, Abigail Anderson, Jasmine Hall, Skyra Brown, Isabel Bartolowskis, Brooke Motley, Chris Christine, Joseph Carley, McKenna Proy, Violetta Pilmelli, Vanessa Gunther, Darren Lindbergh, Zach Reese, Cassie Emmett, Gabby Carley, Briar Streets, William Hanchowski, Alex Reese, Elena Lomas, Olivia Wilms, Noah Johnson, and Carl Gunther. Congratulations. Hi, my name is John Metzler, and I'm Vice President of the Geneva Academic Boosters Club. Each year, our club has the pleasure of presenting the Outstanding Writers Award. We present this to a Geneva High School junior and senior. The recipients are determined by the students' English department teachers and are chosen because they best exemplify the quality, creativity, and skill of their literary work. Our schools and our community should always foster, promote, and most importantly, value the skill of writing. Even as our society becomes more electronically and digitally savvy, with innumerable shortcuts to interacting with others, writing will continue to be a central form of communication necessary in all aspects of our lives. 
It allows us to express our ideas, our thoughts, and our knowledge with others in a way that is uniquely our own. It gives me tremendous ego pride to name Kariani Downey of the junior class and Lauren Wright of the senior class as the 2020 Geneva Academic Boosters Club Outstanding Writers Award recipients. Congratulations to each of you. For more than 50 years, the Cleveland Association of Phi Beta Kappa has recognized academic achievement among graduating seniors at public, private, and parochial high schools across Northeast Ohio. Each year, teachers at local participating schools select one student in the graduating class who is not only in the top 10% of the class, but also demonstrates qualities of academic honesty, inquiry into scholarship matters which goes beyond assignments and requirements, a creative involvement in scholarship, and great interest in things of the mind. And this year's Phi Beta Kappa Award goes to John Jackham. Congratulations. Geneva High School was lucky to have three foreign exchange students this year, and I was lucky enough to have all three of them in class. Sandra Gartler from Austria graced the classroom with her bubbly personality and creative spirit, along with being a member of the cheerleading squad and the theater program. Youngman Lee from South Korea brought his infectious smile and friendly demeanor to his work in the guidance office, in the classroom, and as a member of the boys' soccer team and Kamal Sean Sukitsopa from Thailand shared his love of music making and his delightful demeanor with all who encountered him. Although we are disappointed that their experience here got cut short, we are certainly grateful to have met all of these students. On behalf of the students and staff at Geneva High School, it is my pleasure to present the 2020 Foreign Exchange Students Recognition Award to Sandra Gartler, Youngman Lee, and Kamal Sukitsopa. Congratulations. Hello Geneva, Mr. Dalton here. I'm proud to be part of what is hopefully the first and last virtual award ceremony that we have to participate in. Um, that being said, I'm here to announce the Class of 2020 Golden Hammer Award recipient. This year's recipient has been in multiple semesters of both woodworking and home maintenance classes. Um, through the years, this recipient has been able to obtain a vast amount of hands-on skills and at many times demonstrate those acquired knowledge by helping and self-volunteering to help underclassmen with their projects. Meanwhile, foregoing some of his own projects. Um, by demonstrating his exceptional leadership skills that will not only transfer with him outside into the real world beyond the walls of Geneva High School. I'm proud to announce this year's Golden Hammer recipient award winner is Daniel Williams. Congratulations, Daniel. The award for outstanding artist is presented to Geneva senior Jenna Ross for recognition of dedication to the arts. Congratulations. Good morning, Geneva. This is Mrs. Dirkovic, Spanish teacher. I will be giving the Senior Spanish Award, and this award is um, given to a student who has completed Spanish one through four here at Geneva High School and has demonstrated the following, a good work ethic in the classroom, good communication skills in the target language, and a positive attitude towards teachers and classmates. This recipient has worked extremely hard um, and I am really excited to see what is going to take place in her future endeavors as she continues Spanish in some capacity in college. So without further ado, this year's recipient is Elisa Rebecca Quirk. Congratulations, felicidades. Bonjour, Geneva. It is me, uh, Mrs. O'Connor, or Madame, as many of you know me by. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you all on your graduation from Geneva High School. You've done a great feat, um, and I wish you all the best. I am here today to present the Outstanding Senior French Student Award. Um, and this award goes to a student who has taken French for four years and is able to read, write, speak, and comprehend the language um, well. Um, most people think that taking four years of a language is rather easy. My students and those of Mrs. Durkovic can attest to you that that is not the case. It's um, often a very big challenge. But this student has risen to uh, that challenge and is very uh, positive in the classroom, is a great leader, um, is attentive and a diligent worker. Um, this person is always willing to 
do his best to speak French whenever possible. Um, and that's not always an easy thing to do. Even though sometimes those conversations begin with way or end with way, um, which by the way means yeah in French. Um, and I'm anxious to see how far the French language carries this um, young man into his future. So without further ado, I'd like to say congratulations to the outstanding senior French student for the 2019-2020 school year, Mr. Cole Venus. Félicitations de Kembe. Good luck. Hi, I'm Mrs. Conrad. I am presenting the Outstanding Service to the Office Awards. Uh, they go in alphabetical order. John Amato, Dylan Koval, Sam Davis, Audrey Courtney, Richard Giffen, Matt Brzezinski, John Hazler, Tyler Hines, Tessa Jones, Max Niebusch, Desiree Moore, Rachel Morrow, Brooke Motley, Aiden Foe, Myla Rhodes, Angela Riffle, Sarah Spratt, Victor Stuchel, and Kira Tapia. We would like to thank all of our guidance workers for all the hard work that they have done this year. You make our job easier. Hannah Douglas, Gabriella DeLuca, Garrett Demshar, Sarah Ferrito, Allison Frank, Anna Gerger, Kendra Gronsi, Megan Greenwood, Mia Gribbins, Lorelai Hall, Aaron Korn, Alexia, Alexis Lanning, Yangming Lee, Malaya Myers, Dayanara Ordonis, Stephanie Ranallo, Serenity Rivera, Molly Rose, um, Marissa Serafine, Sydney Snyder, Lita Trampty, Cole Venus, and Lauren Wright. Thank you for all you've done. It is my honor to recognize this year's members of the Academic Challenge Quiz Bowl team. These students put in extra time outside of the classroom to be challenged with unique questions that have a wide range of academic trivia. Our varsity team members this year consisted of Jacob Delajanis, Dan Jackham, John Jackham, Connor Deke, and Joseph Carter. Our JV members consisted of Elena Metzler, Naya Colling, Kaylee Caswell, Violetta Pilamelli, and Dylan Asirno. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Unsinger, who contributed this year to helping us come up with the best design t-shirts that everyone in the county was very envious of. I want to congratulate our seniors. Best of luck to all of you and for our underclassmen. I hope to see you next year. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Dragon. I'm here to present the Botany uh, Competition Award. Unfortunately, we were not uh, able to compete in the spring identification with the wildflowers, but we were able to compete for the Ashbeola County fall tree identification, and we came in first place. And those students who brought us the first place were Joseph Carley, John Jackham, Dan Jackham, Myla Rhodes, and Sydney Snyder. And congratulations to all of them. And I apologize again. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do the spring ID, but all is good. Take care. The CBC Sportsmanship Award female recipient is Kayla Lemberg. She's a softball team captain, 2017 CBC Honorable Mention, 2019 First Team All CBC. She carries a 4.094 GPA. She's a member of the National Honor Society for the past two years. She's a top 25 recipient from Rotary uh, for the past four years. She's a CVC all academic team in volleyball uh, and softball. Uh, congratulations to Kayla Lindbergh for being selected as a CVC Sportsmanship Award winner for 2019-2020. The male CBC Sportsmanship Award winner for 2019 and 2020 is Brandon Thomas. He is a three-year Letterman winner in football and was named second team All-County. He was also a three-year Letterman in wrestling. He was a two-year sectional champion and made it to districts twice. He carries a 3.84 GPA and is also a member of National Honor Society. Congratulations 
Brandon. Hello, I'm Jen Crossley. I'm the athletic director at Juba High School. Uh, I'm going to uh, give a few awards out that we normally give at our spring sports uh, awards in the evening in June. Uh, but since we won't be having that this year, we decided to give them out with all the rest of the school awards. Uh, the recipients of these first four awards uh, will be receiving a plaque to keep it um, of their own. Um, they will also have their name engraved on a rotating trophy that will stay in the main hallway uh, trophy case. We'll begin with the Outstanding Male Athlete Award, which is the George Duplay Award, and the Outstanding Female Award known as the Paul Novak Award. Both of these awards are voted on by the varsity coaches. The George Duplay Award is given out to honor George. George played football, basketball, and baseball. He graduated in 1965. George continued his athletic career at Ashton College. George Nutt was not only an athletic standout, but also an academic standout. The Duplay family started this awareness to honor their son. The recipient of this award has to have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA, and a varsity letters earned and community involvement is considered for this award. This year's recipient has a GPA of 4.126, he is a four-year letterman in football and a four-year letterman in basketball. He has numerous Asheville County, Chagrin Valley Conference, and state acknowledgments. Congratulations to Blakeney. The Paul Novak Award was to honor Paul's memory. Mr. Novak was an active member of the Athletic Boosters, but also actively involved in his children's athletic careers. He never missed a game. It was his wish before he passed away in 1993 that his award honored a senior female athlete who participated in numerous sports, received local awards and community service. They must have a minimum GPA of 2.0 and participate in at least two sports. And they needed to receive at least four letters. This year's recipient holds a GPA of 3.6, participates in volleyball and basketball. She has numerous Asheville County Chagrin Valley Conference acknowledgments and she has earned eight letters collectively. Congratulations to Jordan Benson. The DJ Caton and Andrew Garsha Awards are determined by an administrative committee. DJ Caton was the principal for the Geneva High School for grades nine to 12 in the 1960s and 1970s. DJ, er, he was an instrumental in starting girls sports in Asheville County in the 70s. He was a true believer in Title IX before it ever became a law. He believed that girls should have the accessibility to sports just as boys. He worked hard through the NEC, which Geneva was a member of at the time, to make sure other schools in the county were also adding girls to sports. This award was named to be named to a female athlete who was a combination of athletics, academics, and community service. GPA um, and their community service should be considered. This year's recipient is a four sport athlete, a two-year letterman in volleyball, one year in cross country, four years in basketball, and four years in track. She is the backbone of the team, the scrappy little player, digging deep to overcome challenges to keep the team in the game. Congratulations to Hope Stanley. The Andrew Garsha Award is given in remembrance of Mr. Andrew Garsha. This award, or this is awarded in his memory. Andrew is a legend of athletics in Conneaut. He was a coach of many sports, and the gymnasium in Conneaut is named after him. This year's recipient is a three-sport athlete for all four years of Geneva High School career. He's a three-year letterman in soccer, four-year letterman in wrestling, and a two-year letterman in baseball. He holds a 4.075 GPA. Uh, congratulations goes to Cole Beats. The Archie Griffin Award is given by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. It's one of their uh, four awards that they give. This award is named for Archie Griffin. Mr. Griffin is an Ohio native, the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy for football. And as a professional athlete, he's always displayed exemplar, exemplary sportsmanship. Mr. Griffin, current CEO of the Ohio State University Alumni Association, has been active in promoting sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity for many years. He was honored in 1998 as a recipient of the prestigious OHSAA Ethics and Integrity Award. This year's recipients embody good sportsmanship in all they are involved in. They are both heavily involved in many youth activities and are positive role models for younger youth and uphold the ethics and integrity that Archie Griffin would be proud to support. This year's female recipient is Brooke Mottler. Coach Bob McCoy describes Brooke as a standout student athlete. Her work ethic is inspiring and her leadership is remarkable. 
She is a quiet leader and leads many times without saying a word. When I think of Brooke, I think of someone that will always do the right thing, knowing that nobody is going to know whether he did or did not. Congratulations, Brooke. The male recipient of the Archie Griffin Award is John Jackham. Coach Hall describes John as never letting adversity get him down. During his injuries in soccer, he never let it define him. He has always involved, was involved in practice and supported his teammates at every game. Congratulations, John. The OHSAA Scholar Athlete Award. This award is given to the male and female athlete of the class of 2020 with the highest scholastic average at the end of the first semester of grade 12. The, the recipient has to have a minimum of four varsity letters combined. This year's female recipient has a GPA of 4.296. She's a four-year letterman in cross country and a four-year letterman in track. Congratulations to Liam Pastel. The male recipient carries a 4.40 GPA and is the first in his class of 2020. He's a three-year letterman in soccer and a three-year letterman in tennis. Congratulations to Dan Jack. The NFHS Award of Excellence is to be awarded to one male and one female senior athlete that has displayed exemplary sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. The following recipients are positive role models for others in both academics and athletics. Lauren Wright is a four-year volleyball player and a leader in the school. Coach Hazler states, Lauren is one of the best young ladies I know. She is kind, generous, loyal, and thinks of others before herself. The drive and commitment are second to none. I am proud to have coached her, but I'm so lucky to call her my friend. Joseph Carley is a four-year letterman in soccer three-year letterman in track, also a leader in the school. Coach Hall describes Joseph as a great teammate to every single player on the team. From his best friends to an incoming freshman, Joe treated everyone as if they were the most important person. He encouraged everyone to work hard and lead by example with his endless hard work. Both of these individuals have always, always have smiles on their faces, willing to lend a hand to anyone in the time of need. They exemplify true sportsmanship on and off the court. Congratulations, Joe and Lauren. Some people were telling him, you will never be the same after coming back from a torn ACL. He was hearing this from a whole lot of people. He just didn't want to believe them and he kept working as hard as he could. His sophomore year was a struggle. It was probably the hardest thing that he ever had to endure. He was a lock to hit a thousand points in his career. He scored 18 points a game in his first five game, games his sophomore year. But with the torn ACL, it looked like his career as a high school varsity basketball player may have been over. Smith missed the rest of the year. His senior year, he received a pass at the top of the key. He spun around one defender taking two dribbles. He is fouled trying to go to the hole. But Mr. Clutch came through he shot a free throw, hit a thousand points, and then hit a thousand and one against Harvey High School, crossing that milestone which only a few athletes ever get to accomplish. It is for this reason you are the OHSA Courageous Male Student Award winner for 2019-2020. Congratulations, Brandon Smith. It is my honor to present the OHSAA Female Courageous Student Award. The definition of courage is strength in the face of pain and grief. I am so proud of this young lady for her display of her strength and everything that she has gone through in the past three years. In April of her sophomore year, she suffers a season-ending, possible career-ending knee injury. What would have been a very strong postseason for her turned into a new role as a team supporter and cheering on her team. Less than a week later, she loses her nephew in an accident. It was a tough spring, and as we head into the summer, it was about to get even worse. In June, she loses her biological mother to cancer after seeing her for the first time since she was four years old. Developing that bond with them and getting those lasting memories were a blessing, but also very tough. Her junior year, she was coming back with the weight of all of that on her shoulders. Was she gonna be ready for her junior year in track? Was she gonna be able to, to live up to what she was doing her sophomore year? All questions we didn't know the answers to. The short answer of it was she was never able to get back to 
knowing that she should have been in that role on the teams and on the relays, heading to state and heading to nationals, once again she had to be a supporting role. Very challenging for someone who was one of the top people in the program. We didn't know what she would do. Coming back for her senior year, that's a tough battle to go with and would she make another run at being one of the top. This year was cut short, but not short enough to where we had to experience a wonderful indoor season. The strength she came back and the motivation she did, not only for herself, but for her teammates and coaches was remarkable. And she got to end her season, indoor season, as an indoor state champion. I'm beyond, beyond blessed to know this young lady and she's had a huge impact on me and I'm very proud of her. I would like to present this award to Cheyenne Santiago. Congratulations. On behalf of Sergeant First Class Mark Hutton, I would like to congratulate Private Christopher Kaplan, Private Natalie Loving, and Private Joey Hall on their enlistment into the Ohio Army National Guard. These young soldiers will all receive the Ohio National Guard scholarship that will pay 100% of their college tuition for four years. Sergeant Hutton is proud to serve alongside them and he is proud of them as they move forward into the next chapter of life. It has been an honor to work with these students. Hi, we are the Blue Star Mothers of Chapter 57, Geneva, Ohio. And today we are here to say thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020 for their military choices. Today we're here to honor these cords on behalf of you. Thank you so much for your commitment to our military and our country. As Blue Star Mothers, we support our veterans, our active military, and each other. We encourage you to reach out to a Blue Star mom so that we can be an encouragement to your family and an encouragement to you as you take your military journey. Congratulations, Congratulations. class of 2020 graduates, and God bless America. God bless America. Congratulations. Hi, I wanted to go ahead and honor all of our students this year that had perfect attendance. Now, perfect attendance in a year where a chunk of the school got taken out by quarantine and, and other uh, health issues that we've had to endure through COVID-19, and it's, it's, been a, it's been a tough year for everybody. However, I still thought it was a good idea to honor our students that came each and every day of the school days that they had to be here at school. So, you had to have perfect attendance, no early dismissals, no tardies, no partial days absent, no absent days. And if that's you, hopefully I'm reading you off the list right now. Thank you for your dedication, I appreciate it. For the class of 2023, I'd like to honor Connor Anderson, Matthew Coffin, Allison Groening, Louis Jansen Jr., Jesus Reynoso, Samuel Robinson, Mariah Santiago, and Alexander Soto. For our sophomores, the class of 2022, Danielle Bess, Liam Gerhardt Johnson, Carl Gunther Jr., Brian Leininger, Grace Moon, Tyler Morales, Gabriella Selman, Renee Tetlow, and Zachary Tidwell. For our juniors, the class of 2021, Brandon Allen, Abigail Anderson, Paige Anderson, Maximus Dries, Alyssa Green, Matthew Corver, Elena Metzler, Mia Plant, Aaron Wilkinson, and Eileen Zhang. For our beloved seniors, the class of 2020, I will certainly miss our class of 2020. Joseph Carley, Michael Cooper, Jacob Delajanis, Hunter Harrison, Haley Morales, and Jarek Peterson. 
A special note, Joe Carley is the senior this year that had perfect attendance and missed the fewest days in total, 9, 10, 11, and 12th grade. Um, Joe, you ended up missing fewer than, I believe, four days throughout those three years. Congratulations to you and your dedication of coming to school and for all of our perfect attendance students this year. Thank you so much for being here each and every day. It takes the workload off of the office and quite frankly, it's nice to see your smiling face here each and every day. Congratulations, students. Congratulations, Geneva, on all your awards and your accomplishments. Special thank you to Robert McCoy and Mrs. DeBacker for all the hard work they have put in to get this together for you guys today. Thank you to the community members and the teachers for recognizing you and your accomplishments. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the scholarship ceremonies. Not so casual, make sure you dress up. Congratulations.